Hello. I'm eating a cookie. And welcome to the Anime Bedroom Podcast. Yay! I just slapped my thigh because I'm holding that like... <laughs> <laughs> like a cowboy. Um, uh Yeah, so we haven't done a podcast in about a month. Uh, because I got super ill. Yes. Um, and there was just poop everywhere. So... It was poop, poop on the walls, poop on the ceiling, <laughs> poop on the floor, none in the toilet. And then... <laughs> so, <laughs> but Bethan's fine now. Yeah. It's completely fine. So we're back. Mm-hmm. And and um, half a stone lighter. So yeah. <laughs> poop po- diet. Poop again. <laughs> poop poop again. <laughs> But um, yeah, so basically what we want to do, we want to crack straight into D23 because, yes. oh my goodness. Yes. D23 did not disappoint. Did they, uh, this is just before we get into it, mm-hmm. I this is the first time I've ever watched D23. It is, yeah. So, mm-hmm. um, and on the whole, very enjoyable, really mm-hmm. good, mm-hmm. felt like, you know, like they do... When Apple do their big kind of like keynote, well, things, yeah, it is. Big yeah. product launches. It felt like that. It was very kind of like, oh, what's coming next? They're holding something back. Oh, something cool. So coming. much hype. Um, is it usually like that? Yeah. Or is it? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. So what's really funny is that so every year, I don't really watch it. Watch it. So mm-hmm. like I'll have it on in the background and I'll just be reading everything live mm-hmm. because. I never thought that you were interested. No, but I am. Yeah. <laughs> I, I really like it. It's really, really <laughs> interesting. I know, but it was sort of one of them things like... I know what you mean, because it's kind of like, for the equivalent, it's like when Transfer Deadline Day happens in oh, the football world. Oh my goodness, world. and I want I to, love that. Do you know what? I want to kill myself, because but, literally you're like, oh, Lacazette has been sold, and I'm like, who is that? <sighs> well, that was really mean. <laughs> I'm just a mean old guy. You are a mean old guy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, D23, very good. So so the first thing we'd say mm-hmm. is if you um, thought about watching it, you didn't. Next year, th- put aside some time and watch it because it is very enjoyable. You know what's uh, funny as well? Apparently they actually um, overrun by 25 minutes. Really? It was only supposed to be an hour and a half. Wow. Oh, uh, so for today as well, mm. because there was so much for D23. Yeah. Like, there is no way that in this podcast we could tell you about absolutely everything. No. So what we're doing is just the Parks panel. Yeah, because... because well, uh, well that's, that's the most exciting one. Yeah, because, it? like, the other things were to do with kind of, like, um... Disney Plus! Disney oh, Plus. wait! When is the UK even getting Disney yeah. Plus? So there's so. certain things there's no point us talking about because it doesn't... Although... It, it doesn't relate to super us. pumped for Lizzie McGuire. Like... Oh, yeah! That, that is quite cool. Do you know yeah. what? When Hilary Duff came out, I literally, like, felt but like crying. Her little cartoon self didn't come out. That would have been cool if they had that on the screen. Oh, that on the screen! Imagine, oh, if, the screen. imagine oh, she was talking and then it was like, Hey, Lizzie, it's me. Yeah. I, I, I can't do it. Do you know what? Country. I super, super hope that they keep the animation style. Uh, because think, it is so 90s. Like her little uh, Lizzie McGuire Oh, they probably thing. won't, you know. No, they won't. <laughs> it might not even be that. It might just be like... Oh, no, 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 no. A sitcom. No, no, no. no. Like, that is the essence of Lizzie McGuire. If they oh, took away her do. little... No, no, no. Mm-mm. Bitch, you never even watched Lizzie McGuire. I did. With, um, Paolo. That's a Lizzie McGuire movie. What's the, the guy? Gordo. Gordo. Gordon. Um, Gordo who? Gordo. Is long... that his actual name? Gordo. Or is that his second name? No, no that's his second name. Um, Good. That's so, a terrible um, name. Don't name your child Gordo. What's it called? So, along with Kel from Keen and Kel, Gordo was also my childhood crush. Oh, cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, if you ever want to write some erotic fan fiction, Mm-mm. Beth and Kel and Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> that would be disgusting. <laughs> hey. Well, no, get you. out of my head. Get out. <laughs> okay, um, anyway. Should we, yes. should we go into it? Bethan's got it loaded on her phone. Yes, because... Um, because So, what I was doing was I, I was, like, typing things mm. down quickly because I thought, this podcast is going to be so chock-a-full of stuff. Yeah, we need... So do you want me to go first and read the first one out? Okay, go on then. Okay, so the first one is a new parade called Magic Happens (gasps) is headed to Disneyland in spring. So that'll be California. Right, right, okay. With with floats, do you want me to... Yeah, carry on. With floats celebrating films like Moana, Coco, Sleeping Beauty and more. Haven't heard of more. What's more? (laughs) That sounds like a great film. Shut it. Um, Right, okay. So... First of all, it says spring, so we haven't actually got a date confirmed. But that could mean, like, 
So it's 2020 though, isn't it? No. Or it just says spring. That must mean 2020. Yeah, of course it yeah. is, yeah. Okay. That could be from like Feb, Feb yeah. to like May. Yeah, I yeah. guess. Now, yeah. me and Adam are going to Disneyland um, on the 12th of March to the 20th of March. Yeah. And I tell you now, girl, if this parade isn't out, I'm going to be really sad. It's it's not looking... Well, no, because it just says spring. I know, I know but it's... But, uh, see, so the thing is for me is that I keep looking at all the pictures and stuff for mm. this new parade. And the Moana float looks yeah. incredible. So it's, like, it's out like of this world. It's her on the boat, isn't it? Yeah, like and she's big... like, wayfinding That's it. through a parade! Yeah. So and Sorry. they didn't they didn't play the did they play the music from that one or is that the that's something mm-hmm. okay that's something else but it looks very good it looks very grand mm-hmm. and that'd be nice yeah oh man so fingers crossed yeah that we're actually there for that because think about all the merch um, I know but then half of me is like I hope that it comes maybe a bit earlier than March because um, if we're there like. Opening day of oh, the parade. There'll be a lot of people thinking, oh, "I want to go see magic happen." Yeah, it's gonna be crazy, and we'll be crowded All, out. Also, as well, um, they did just say new parade, so we don't know whether that's nighttime. We don't know whether it's mm. daytime. But the pictures that we've seen of them it looked looked daytime. It did look daytime. So we'll see. We'll see. They need something to um, replace night- Spectre Magic anyway. But that was a nighttime one. Oh. But that's only running. And they haven't got a nighttime. Ah, mm. so they haven't got any nighttime stuff. They now. won't have. Oh well, they have. They've got magic of colors, like the. Um, oh yeah. Nighttime parade in California, the California Adventure. But I'll I think it'll be a daytime parade. Yeah. I think it makes more sense. Well, fingers so, crossed. Yeah, okay. Okay. The next one. Yes. Over at Hong Kong Disneyland, the upcoming transformation of the castle will celebrate thirteen Disney princesses and heroines and be called. The Castle of Magical Dreams. Man, do you know what, right? What's really exciting? So, obviously, every castle is, like, a different princess. So, Mm -hmm. obviously, it's, like, Cinderella's castle, and then it's Sleeping Beauty's and Disneyland Paris. Um, And Princess Fiona's. (laughs) Stop that. Um, But I'm so excited to see how on Mm. earth they're even going to do all of these different princesses on the castle. Because what I'm feeling like, it's going to be like the Tree of Life, but for a castle. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. What do you think? Well, it's not like they're going to have... Well, they could do it like a collage of different colours of... Like colour schemes and like symbols of each princess. But I feel like that will look a bit... Yeah. Look a bit naff, a bit wasn't naff, it? but ah. Uh... But I tell you what is weird. Mm-hmm. Why they've suddenly gone? Oh, we've got thirteen of these now. Let's do this now. It does. It seems a bit random, doesn't it? Um, no, I think I think they're just kind of like. Do you we know need what? to do something. Yeah. We're a bit because bored. when have you heard the last like update from Hong no, Kong? Disney? No, that's true. Yeah, it, it is. They kind of did Hong Kong, and then they've just kind of. Well, they've left it they probably do them. have updates and stuff oh yeah but we, we never just, hit yeah, they're it's never, never big scale it's never on the main Disney hmm. sort of like yeah updates who would who would the well we could oh I was going to say let's name the 13 but uh, I don't think I could no. because it says and heroines yeah it's that because be... no 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 so that is because Some so them... technically Mulan isn't a princess technically oh, yeah. Moana no, isn't some... a princess who so else? it's things like that that's all it is okay Okay, what's the next one? Right, so, new show um, in Ooh. Circus du Soleil. So, yeah. super excited for that one because, um, did you ever go? To Cirque du Soleil? Yeah. No. You didn't? In down- I've when never... When it was in downtown Disney? I've never ever been. Have you not? I, I don't know why, I always associate Cirque du Soleil mm-hmm. with the Blue Man Group, but I know they're not related no, at all. No, Whenever they say that, I think, oh, that's the Blue Man Group. <laughs> it's not. And I also think, oh, they do it in that hot air balloon. Because in Disney Springs, the hot air balloon says Cirque du Soleil on it, doesn't it? Or is like the um, colours of a circus? Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, I've never been, wow, anyway. And again. I know, I, uh, but um, I'm happy to explain what Cirque du Soleil is, even though I don't know what it is. What? So they jump around, and they go, they, they do flips, and then uh, all in unison they go, Cirque du Soleil! And everybody claps and everybody leaves. Is that it? It's just one, they do one somersault together. 
And that's it. That's, that's it. what people pay sixty dollars for. Yeah. So like 40, to see them all. Forty do... people do a flip in unison. They go Cirque du Soleil. No. Am I close? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, okay. No, basically, it's just like. It's stories being told through acrobatics, and it's just oh okay insane. It is just so like um I mean not like stomp here, but you know it's so it's just so creative and yeah. so that you like and every single person in there is just so through talented. dance routines yeah and yeah acro- okay that sounds yeah. cool amazing that sounds cool. so okay. yeah so that's gonna be super cool because uh, yeah. the circus delay has actually been like it's dead oh. well not dead but like so it stopped running last year I think or maybe it was the start of this year but oh, okay. like their last performance oh no I think it was like New Year's maybe but yeah so and it's been empty for happened. a while so yeah okay. so that's cool it also says at the end of it um, mm. where animated characters will interact with performers I didn't oh! see that before that sounds quite funky that does sound funny I'm thinking like Mary but, Poppins like you know with the step in time you're obsessed da, 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 with da, step da, in da, time da. that's not step in time no that's Jolly jolly Mary. Oh, right. Well, you, you ba, sons. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, da. Do you know what? Suck du soleil. Hey. Every time we do a podcast, yeah, I think I... more people realise I don't know anything how much about. of a fake Disney fan <laughs> you are. I love, I love, um, uh, what's his name? Will, William Disney? What? William Disney? Stop that. Walt Disney? Stop that. It's funny. We we watched, this is a tangent, we watched The Matrix and The Matrix Reloaded. We did. And uh, The Matrix was amazing. It was really good. And then Matrix Reloaded was Not terrible. good. No. But we both thought his name was Neil for a bit. Oh, yeah. Everyone we were was like, like, Neil. Everyone was like, Neil. Neil. And then we were like, oh, it's Neo. Neo. Like Only Neo. because we put the subtitles on. Yeah, and it went, Neo. And I was like, oh. oh. Anyway, what's yes. the next one? Okay. okay, so this one. Okay. Oh, this is the best one, <laughs> right? Because, so we watched this on our live stream, and everyone were coming up with fantastic little witty comments about this. Right. Get ready for your next shopping spree. Target is teaming up with Disney to launch 25 Disney stores. Within select target locations nationwide. Right. I tell you now, that's one thing I wish we had in the UK. A target. It's a target, right? So we've got... I know we've got our supermarkets, but they all seem nah. pretty pathetic. Like, yeah. when we go to America, we yeah. always hit either Walmart or Target. And we think, yeah. man, these are just mega. I Like, I've yeah. never been to a place that sells, like, What's car everything? tires. Yeah. And, like... But like cheese and ham loaf, yeah, <laughs> just random things. Like we have Asda and, mm. and Tesco, mm. and they kind of do a bit of that, don't they? They yeah. kind of oh, here's a little sprinkling of it. Whereas yeah. Target is like half food, half anything else. Yeah, and that's yeah. what I like is that's that brilliant. that feels like a supermarket. You yeah. know, is that it's half food and half everything else. Whereas yeah. ours is kind of just like ah, oh, here's like two items of clothing. Yeah. So. But, yeah, so, I mean, if we had a Target near us, and I amazing. was told, oh, hey, there's going to be a Disney store in your supermarket, yeah. man, I would be freaking out. Yeah, it is a good idea. It is, I think it's a yeah. it's a funny step. Because I think, for a lot of Americans, they probably think of Target as being, like, quite a low, like, cheap... Oh, I don't know, no. I don't think it's no, cheap. No, no, it, it, Walmart is their cheap... That's their cheap. Cheap and nasty sort oh, okay. of, and Target's to, like... To me, it seems like it's kind of, like... It, the equivalent for us is, like, we have Primark, yeah. and Primark have a lot of Disney stuff, they do. and it doesn't really feel right. I no, oh, do you it's know cheap. what? It's because the quality is just yeah. horrendous. That's what I feel like this is what they're trying oh, to do no, a bit. No, no, no. But I know it is, I know it is actual Disney I was store say, yeah, in it's, a Target. It's actual Disney um, store, so it's not like that. But yeah. um, the one thing that we do have is a Disney store, like, 15 minutes away from us. So maybe, oh, so maybe that should be what... Weird. But what I am super super pumped for mm. is that they're saying that there's going to be a Target being built in Disney World. Yeah, that be- would be handy. Because normally yeah. we always have to get an Uber out to a Target yeah. or a Walmart, and you know, like I'm not being funny, yeah. but a trip there and back is about thirty yeah. dollars, and that's thirty dollars I can be spending on Mickey waffles. Do you know what I mean? Money well spent, obviously. <laughs> but I think, like, there's it's good because I think there's a there is a gap in Disney where mm-hmm. it's like people who need 
essential things mm-hmm. who have rooms like milk or do you know what I mean like yeah. tea and coffee and stuff yeah. although that you can get that um because it is very premium prices yeah for very normal things in Disney so yeah. I think they're they're bridging this very nicely yes and people are familiar with Target and they trust Target yeah well yeah so, exactly yeah. so that's nice okay, okay. so right so the next one. Oh, the next one's well good I'm super excited because it was the first time in the whole of D23 I've actually heard them whisper Disneyland Paris. I was I like, know, we were like, we were wait, like, wait, that's wait, us. Wait. Like, yeah. we felt that's like, our close one. Yeah, 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 we felt like cheering as if like they had just mentioned Caffili yeah. or something. We were like, yeah, oh. Disneyland Paris. Can you imagine Disneyland Caffili? Oh, oh, that's the one. There's not any space. There's not enough space. Uh, although we have a castle. We do, and we have a Morrison's. That could be the target. <laughs> just build around them. Join them up. Perfect. Ta-da! Perfect. Yeah. So okay. So shall I read it out? Yeah, go on then. So it's uh, time. Yeah, yeah. That's what I wanted it. Yes. Yes, sorry. Yes, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Time to assemble to Avengers Campus. A brand new e-ticket attraction is headed to Disney California Adventure. I've read the wrong one, haven't I? No. Nope. Disneyland California Adventure, where guests will fly along with the Avengers and adventure to Wakanda. Okay, I read all the next. I ones. thought uh, I got confused. I okay, okay, so basically, yeah. yeah, sorry, I do remember um, the uh, the new all of the Avengers stuff that we've seen, all the updates and stuff from Disneyland Paris. They're actually giving it a name now. Yes, which is the Avengers Campus, which yeah. is super exciting because, like you know, they're all about. Um, enrolling you yeah. into the Avengers and I'm like I'm all down for that oh I love it I love this kind of immersive storytelling where it's not just a, a hotel anymore it's not mm-hmm. just a it's a you're gonna what do you mean a hotel well not a hotel you know what I mean it's not like a you're not just going to a place and doing your thing it's this immersive thing where you're enrolling into the into the campus and you're becoming a yeah it's it's part of the Hollywood studios there it's part of the oh I thought it was a separate no, thing no. oh well someone wasn't listening then <laughs> Well, I've got it wrong. <laughs> it's part of them. Walt Studios Park. <laughs> I thought it was a campus. No. Well, I've just no. completely misinterpreted this. Um, they do have a hotel opening up, though, but it's called uh, the New York Hotel in Disneyland Paris. Oh, maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Maybe. They've got a hotel opening up <laughs> called the... Uh, Dis- was it New York Hotel? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and the cracks crikey. begin to show. <laughs> but yeah, so um, super, super excited for that because um, they're actually closing the rock and roller coaster in Disneyland Paris like next week, mm. I think it is, uh, because they're turning it into an Iron Man. I know. Which Iron Man ride? Which uh, I mean, that's going to be good. Yeah. It. Uh, do you know what really not irks me, but it feels weird. What? Because the Marvels stuff has ended yeah. the films wise and they're gonna yeah not remake them but they're having new characters new characters yeah. it feels a bit strange that they're like because what if the new iron man isn't very good or what if the films aren't very yeah, good yeah but you gotta think about it you know I mean? they opened pandora who actually oh, likes that's, avatar that's true, isn't it? yeah people probably look past the fact that it is avatar yeah like, okay fair enough that was my only thought oh okay whereas you well know, actually i was gonna say they're not as popular as aerosmith Probably Iron Man is uh, a lot popular. Yes, there. a lot yeah. popular. Um, also, I do want to say that um, they kept like skimming over Spider Man, didn't they? Every time they mentioned Spider Man, you could hear the crowd like. Ooh. I know. It's... Yeah. I think they will. They'll sort it out. Yeah. What's really funny though is I did see pictures um, outside. There's like outside of the actual expo, there was a big, massive D twenty three like massive sign, and people were putting flowers and like chocolates oh, and stuff, yeah. and like all these pictures of Tom Holland, and um, that was amazing. <laughs> Oh, Disney fans are hardcore, man. I love yeah, them. Yeah, they were all I love or nothing. Them so much. I know, oh. right? But yeah, they'll sort that out, and it'll be fine. Yes. They'll just even if it's kind of the thing of they reference Spider Man. Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. Without including him, that is probably what uh, they'll do. No, there's a whole ride, Adam. It's called the Web Slinger or something. It's like Web. Oh yeah, it's the, of course there is. Yeah, which I think is just going to be kind of like Toy Story Mania. Yeah. 
And then they did say about the um, like food sort of. Tra- I see they didn't confirm no. whether this was a, an attraction or an eatery. That's what I didn't get. That's why I didn't want to speak about because I that I really didn't understand. Oh no! So it was very interesting. Yeah. So they just said that um, they said you. They said it was like virtual reality. You'd be able to. No, no, no. This is Spider Man now. I'm on about Spider Man. No, no, said- no. I'm on about the eatery now, for Ant Man and the Wasp. Where's the bit with Spider-Man where he... Yeah, that was in the web car thing. Oh, what about that bit? <laughs> it's very Keep hot in here. Keep up, Adam, <laughs> for goodness sake. You talk for a bit. I'll listen. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, as well. So they're going to be bringing this out in um, in Disneyland California as well. Um, and I think they said that that's going to be opening next year, I think. And people are like super pumped about that. Because I didn't think that it was opening so soon. Because I know Disneyland Paris. Although they, I think maybe they were opening this. What uh, one thing I, that they didn't mention was like all of the frozen bit in Disneyland Paris. Yeah, because we know that there's plans for a frozen castle. Yeah, isn't there? there's and gonna there's like and there's gonna be like this big lake and Elsa's castle is gonna be at the end of it. And there's gonna be like a frozen ride. And Disneyland Paris is getting their own Star Wars land. Yeah, and they didn't even mention that. Which worries me. Because maybe it's false information. Well, no, because we've seen the plans for it. Yeah, but that's what I mean. That could be false, <gasps> couldn't it? That, that could be... But then, if it's so far in advance, they're probably like, oh, we'll announce this next year. Well, yeah, so... Um... We'll announce this at D24. <laughs> <laughs> that's not how it works. Uh, uh, uh. Um, but, yeah, so maybe... Hmm. I don't know. It, well, apparently Elsa's Castle is going to be up... 2022 and then the star wars land is 24 so i mean that is ages away so yeah oh goodness let's get on to all the epcot stuff yes they pretty much dedicated a hell of a lot of time to the yeah it was like half an hour and i still feel like they missed some bits out yeah well, we know there's things they didn't mention as well. Well, we say that we know, but it could be... No, I am... Fake I am, news. No. Fake news. I know it's real news because a cast member told me. When did they tell you, Adam? When I was on my own. So you weren't there to back me up that it's real, but I tell you it was real. Well, why don't you tell your story? So my story is that I went to go get some chicken strips at... Typhoon Lagoon. Typhoon Lagoon. You were there. You no, yeah, I just remember you telling me about it. And I was talking to this very nice woman who worked behind the the chicken s- strip chicken strip <laughs> serving area. Yeah. And she said, "I'll give you some sneaky information about Epcot." <gasps> Go on then. Brazil is the next country, right? And I knew this. You did, and you came back, and you oh like, man, you skipped, you skipped. Back. I was like, I know this, and she was like, I can tell you, it's in motion. Right? Yeah. They didn't mention it at all. Ah, uh, do you know what though? D twenty three. You know what's really funny? What is that? Um, they've they've um announced a food booth, so a new Brazil food booth for oh, food and wine, don't right? Say that was and it. people are like, is this is this what it no. is? No, it's just a food booth. There's a gap in between. I know there is. Yeah, Italy but, and Germany. Yeah, yeah, but does that mean they're taking away all the little trains? You like the little model trains? I do like the model trains. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway. Well, anyway. Okay. okay. So, they opened up the Epcot. Do you, do you want to read the tweet? Yeah, okay. okay. Read the tweet. So, there's going to be four neighbourhoods. Yes. So, we've got uh, the World Showcase. Yeah, which obviously. is fine. Yeah. World Nature. Yeah. 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 World Discovery. Ooh. And World Celebration. Ah. <sighs> So, um, which, which was crazy because, you know, I know part of world nature is going to be, oh, hang on, the camera right. stopped. Hang on, we're, oh, we're oh, back, we're back, we baby. Okay. If you're on YouTube, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so I know that part of the, um, world nature is going to be the land and the seas. So yeah. they're just like merging them into one. Yeah, I don't know. Well, Do, well, and also as well, does that does world nature include figment? Yeah, well, this is the thing. They said that um, the way the way they on so basically they showed a massive map dividing up the places. Mm-hmm. Figment falls in between. I forgot this wrong. Oh, right do they? You look at well. I this is what I understood. Oh, of it. Okay. This is what I saw someone say that it falls in between nature and celebration. Oh, okay. And they were like, "What are they going to do with it?" And I'll be honest, I don't care. They can <laughs> cut him in half. Cut him in half. What are you on about? You love Figment. 
figment. I hate figment. You love it. Figment what, can why go. Why did you buy? Why did I didn't, you buy this hat? I didn't buy this hat. You bought this hat. Messed up my hair now. It's bought a figment oh, hat. Oh, it's horrible. But like one little spark of inspiration. See, look. Oh no. Get away. Oh, he's chucked it yeah. on the floor. But this is what they're saying is maybe. Um, I don't think they'll get rid of him. No, they won't. But yeah. I think yeah. when when we ever go on that ride, I always think this would convert very very well into like an inside out idea. Oh, okay. Because it's the same kind of imagination and emotions. Do you oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, they, yeah. I reckon they could. They're not. They're not going to get rid of Figment. No, this is what I mean, though. I, I think they'll do something else with it. You know, it's funny though. And the, put him somewhere else. The speaker mentioned the little oh, purple dragon and people. Oh my god! Could you feel oh, the people, buzz in the room? I felt the vibrations through the iPad. <laughs> Like, people thought they were announcing a new Imagination ride because I know a lot of people hate the new one. Uh, see, I remember the OG yeah. and the Dream Finder, and he was great, but mm, I don't know. I Personally, I think they'll they'll get, they'll change the ride and yeah. move him somewhere else. They'll do something else with him. Dragon. Yeah, because I, I, I... Yeah, but this is just because you hate him. No, 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 because I'm thinking it from a point of... The reason they've revamped Epcot yeah. is to include more Disney films and things. It, it is, which right? is quite sad. It is, it is, but I get it because obviously they want to promote the films. They want people to fall in love with different films. And with Figment, it's kind of like, what is, like, Figment, you can just buy merchandise from. He has no, like, do you know what I mean? No, no, but this and is why I think... People are going to come and torch your house down, Adam. Why? I'm because making, a I think lot I'm of people a good like Figment. A lot of... I'm not saying we lose him. Yeah, I'm not no, saying... No, no, but he's like the mascot for Epcot. Yeah, but they've changed the tagline of Epcot <laughs> and the logo. They're phasing him out. Okay. Okay. Let's put your hatred for Figment in a pin. Okay. We'll put a pin in it. Go on, then. And we'll move on. So, something that... I know, obviously, you hate Figment. Now, this yeah. news shook me the most. Okay. I absolutely hate this. Spaceship Earth... Will transform with a new scenes celebrating the universal nature of human experience, plus all new feature of narration. Yeah. Focusing on storytelling that brings people together. Yeah, now they didn't confirm whether that means Judy's gone. Yeah, new narration. But, all new narration. Yeah, it could be her doing new narration. Uh, do you know what? I don't care, because if I don't start Spaceship Earth with... Like a grand and miraculous spaceship, right? Then it's not Spaceship Earth. Who would be the worst narrator? Oh, God. James Corden. <laughs> God, I hate James Corden. Go away. <laughs> um, right. Spaceship Earth is one of the most fascinating rides, right? It, yeah, because yeah, yeah. I learn, I genuinely learn yeah. something new every single time I go on it. That's probably the ride we do the most is, yeah. when we're in the whole of Disney World. Yeah. Even though we love Everest and, you know, we're like, you know, we do a lot of Everest rides, but we are always on Spaceship Earth. We do. The, a trip to Epcot is not a trip to Epcot unless we don't ride it twice. It's not. And it, it you learn lots. It's a good experience. Good chance to sit down uh, and get cool. But I... when it says new scenes celebrating the universal nature of human experience, yeah, I don't. What, what does that even I don't mean? Know. They're just words, aren't they? They did right in. I said this when we were watching it. They did a very good job of saying nothing in portions, didn't they? Yeah. Where they were just like talk... they'd be like, "Hey, um, let's bring this Imagineer out." And then they're like, hey, I love yeah. Epcot! And yeah. then they just go away. Pretty much. So. I'm, do you know I what? Know. They left my living with the land alone. So, so you're right for... I'm okay for now. But I, I am actually really sad that our last trip in May was the last time we would have gone on Space Your Birth. I know. But. We've got loads of POVs <sighs> on YouTube, so we, we can, can just, just keep live, reliving we can it. just live through that. Yeah. So that's okay. I, I think, in all seriousness, it probably does mean that Judy Dench is gone, doesn't it? Well, yeah, of course yeah, it does. I know. 
I don't want to believe the, it. Though. And the sneaky little Jeremy Irons one that used to come on, like a super rare one. But um, like, I get that it's quite old now, and the anima- yeah. animatronics are quite old. And but do you know, I what? like I, that. To be I honest. love yeah. that. But, but I think you know what'll happen. The new one will come along. We'll ride it, and we'll be like, "This is great." As yeah, well. right. Anyway, it's and just fine, isn't it's, it? It's just change, isn't it? Yeah, no one likes change. No. So okay. <sighs> So the one that the one announcement that I probably started crying at the most. Yes. World Celebration will feature a wishing tree and a new statue celebrating the legacy of Walt Disney. Yeah, this is oh, really, it was really really nice. It's though. such a lovely statue yeah. as well. Yeah. And I and I hope that you can get close to it. It look well what it looks like is that it's kind he, of He looks like he sat on some steps. Yeah, so it's a, like they built these like it, it looked like marble kind of steps yeah. or something. Yeah. And then it looked quite wide, but I think it was a wide angle yeah, shot. Maybe, yeah. But I think that's the idea of it. Is that there's probably a photo pass person if they're there. Oh yeah, unless they've just replaced them all with boxes. But it looks like you can go up, you can sit with him, or you kind of have like a group family photo with him in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Because it'd be silly if you stand in front of it. Yeah, but every other um, Walt Disney statue, you can't get close to him. Really? The only one that you can actually sit down with is um, Roy Disney. Oh yeah. And he's with Minnie. Well, maybe that's... Well, it get... Uh, Do you know what... it to be matter, fair, it doesn't, doesn't it? matter, no. but the, I just absolutely love that, um, because it's always the focus is on Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And it's so nice that they're, like, focusing on other parks. Yeah. Though. You know, and because there hasn't been a Walt Disney statue in any other parks apart from no. the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. And obviously, like, the studios, but that doesn't count. Yeah. But, yeah, so it's nice that, and I hope that every single park has... They should do, really. But then I suppose because well, Walt Disney actually worked yeah, on Epcot, so yeah. Whereas he didn't work on um, Hollywood or Animal yeah. Kingdom, did he? So I mean, <laughs> probably it, like what? Yeah, so maybe could... they'll get one in Blizzard Beach and him and his trunks or so. Did he make Blizzard Beach? No. Oh, that would oh, you had me there. That would have been more well good. Imagine like him just him skiing like that. <laughs> yeah. And there's a statue of I love him it. skiing. And then one of James Corden. Okay, cool. Okay, right. Okay. Um, so they announced what the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy ride is called. Can you remember? Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Yes! And it's a reverse yeah. Yeah. launch. Holy crap, that's going to be yeah. thrilling. So does that mean that you are facing the wrong way and you yeah. just go... So you know like Rock and Roller Coaster? Yeah, Look, just backwards. Yeah, but backwards. That's really But cool. not only that, right, is that... Um, so if you watch the Tim Tracker, he shows you where you'll actually be launching backwards. And oh, it's, I and see. And it's up a hill. So not oh, only will really? you be launching backwards, you'll be launching up. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. I know. Yeah. So I'm super pumped for that. Yeah. So And it's nice as well because the next time we do go to Disney is going to be 2022. Yeah. So, like, so that should be... Well, everything's going to yeah, be open. It should be, yeah. So, and it's nice I say it should be because of things like <laughs> yeah. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Road. Way, yeah, what the hell happened yeah. to that? Anyway. Um, but yeah, because what I don't think I would like is if I went to Epcot and I just saw it as like this barren ruins of oh, just nothing. It probably... So. Yeah. You know, it, it's not it's not going to look pretty for a very long time, no, is it? No, And I want to go... You want to go and have everything finished. Yeah. And be like, pew, 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 hitting them off. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. But um, yeah, that looks really, really good. Yeah. And also the new uh, space restaurant as well. Uh, they... Oh, I, did it... Did it have a name? Oh, I... uh, yeah, it's uh, Space... Two... 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 Oh. 220. Yeah. Well, I don't know whether they're calling it yeah. 220, 220, no, 220. He... He said 220 because oh, it was okay. oh there was a reason. Yeah. Was it the angle? I think it was the I think it was something to do with the angle because what you can see is like you can see basically a big um, view of Epcot. That's yeah. what they were saying. Yeah. And I think that's the angle you're at. Oh, I think, okay. but I could be wrong with that. So. But yeah, so that's that's going to be super cool because mm. it's um, it's all like part of um, mission space and all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So and it's all um, there's not going to be any windows. No. So it's just going to be like, oh, I'm in space yeah. and I'm eating my food. Yeah. Okay, so the next one after that. Yes. Um, holy moly, oh. France 
I know. Is like, yeah, but it, I didn't realise it was all opening so soon. No. So the Beauty and the Beast sing-along is yeah. opening like soon in 2020. Yeah. Yeah, did they say just the start? Of t- no, wasn't that the... No, 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 they said the start oh, of 2020. Oh, the start of 20- Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which yeah, yeah. is like nuts. Yeah, and that's basically the Frozen sing-along, but with... Well, it, well, it says that, but it says with comedic twist. So I don't know whether there's yeah, going to be... Yeah, that's what I mean. The Frozen no, but... one has the comedian. Yeah, 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 but I don't know whether there's actually going to be presenters there oh, or whether yeah. it's just going to be like Lumiere on the... So kind of like a fill our magic mm. more than the Frozen sing-along. I don't know. I think it'll be... The presenters, it's a show, yeah, and they're referring to the. Oh, okay. I think it'll be something like that, but okay. I think you're right. It'll probably be two characters, rather than the Frozen is the historians, which yeah, have nothing yeah, to do yeah, with yeah. that. Um, uh, was it? Well, we'll see. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, so I'm super excited about that. And Ratatouille. Now, yeah. I honestly thought that yeah. this was going to be like way, way, like maybe even 2021, 2022. Yeah. I thought it was yonks away. Because it seemed like they didn't start work on it. Yeah. They started really, like, not late, but I mean, like, it seemed like, well, like they when, just kind of, yeah, current. When when we were there yeah. in May, yeah. like, they just put up the building. That's what I mean. And you were like, oh, they must be starting it now, maybe? But then, but, so we've been on the Ratatouille ride in Paris, Paris, and there's not actually that much. Like, no, because, because think I guess about it's, it, it's just a building. It's got, a like, room, about four it? rooms... Yeah, and then the cars. And the cars are trackless. So it's not like they have to build a track. No, true. So once the cars are already programmed, they just have to dump them in, don't they? And just test them, I guess. Yeah. I, yeah. So I suppose. We should build one. This sounds easy. Oh, we'll just do oh. it in our back garden. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, okay. and that's opening summer 2020. Yeah. So that's like a year away. Really, really good. And we should be able to go see that, shouldn't we? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Oh my I, goodness, sorry. I thought you were like no, telling no, no. me now you're sorry. gonna take me sorry. next year. I was sorry. like, what? I was getting confused there. You was? I got confused. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Nasty. Well, we will be going to see it in 18 days. We're going to Disneyland Paris. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> That's what I meant. That's where my head was going. Anyway. You are yeah. so funny. And then the other thing is yeah. that they're opening another restaurant. Yes, the Creperie. Crepery. Because I, I, I always call them craps, and I know they're Crapery. <laughs> the crepery. Yeah. And they also announced that it's going to be table service, which is super yeah. cool, because I thought it was just going to be like a quick service, like, because they have that crepe stall yeah. outside the Chefs of France. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I thought it was just going to be Another a one, bigger though. version yeah, of Yeah, a bigger one, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I tell you now, France is like, yeah. going to be because massive. Because they, they showed like a little artist impression of, it's going to be like a row of yeah. um, like French you know, like the front open restaurants. Yeah. There's a word, I've, I can't find it. But yeah, so it's really pretty. Bistros. Bistros, that's yes. it, yeah. So that's yeah. cool. And it's all the people who do the the food in the Chef de France. Yeah. It's all those chefs and waiters yeah. and Yeah, so that. it'll be super yummy because it's super yummy in there. Yep. Um, also as well, okay, how much did you actually cry when Dick Van Dyke came out? Oh, yeah. Do you know what? He's so old. He is so old. He is like 92? Yeah, something like that. And do you know what? When someone helped him out with his little cane. Oh, yeah, cane oh yeah. my goodness. I just died inside. I thought, what a wonderful I man. Shall I tell you what? It does make me laugh. What? You can tell he has false teeth. Oh, <laughs> you know, he's Which is fine. I'm not, no, 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 no. It's fine. But just the way he speaks, you're like, I can hear the false teeth. Oh, which is odd. Goodness. Oh, do you know what? When yeah. he took the mick out of himself. I know. Like, for being an old oh, man. I, I just thought, do you know what? Yeah. You're beautiful. And yeah. you do you, babe. You do a dick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, why was he out, Adam? So, they announced that the UK Pavilion, yes. Epcot, is getting a Mary Poppins attraction. <laughs> Woo! Don't know what it is. UK! <laughs> yeah, we don't know what it is. No. But. Well, they just said that it was inspired by it, and they also said that um, we're going to get our own cherry tree lane. Yeah, which, which is, is really cool. cool. Really cool. I have no idea where they're going to put that. No. The only place we thought of was where they have the live music. Oh, boy. Which is a pretty. It is pretty bad. If I'm honest, <laughs> the, the, but... what, oh, what are they called? Oh, Revolution. Yeah, something, it's something like that. Yeah, the and UK just... Revolution Band or something. But um, but that's where Winnie the Pooh meets and stuff. So whether they're expanding, they'll have to. Um, the but 
then think about it. So you know where, like, so in between the UK pavilion and the Canada, yeah. there's just kind of like, so there's the toilet, and then there seems to just be like an empty space where they have like a cart and the island booth. Yeah, because you know the Canada there? stuff doesn't go under that, does it? That's behind. Yeah, it. yeah, yeah, and and uh, the and then Canada's got its own like little yeah. stage, so maybe it'll be like that. Could be along there, yeah. Yeah, it might be like it'll, they'll have to go back because it if it's an attraction. Yeah, because they can't go the other way because it's no. water. Now. Yeah, <laughs> we'll just we'll just go into the yeah, World we'll, Showcase, yeah. like yeah. Just I it. think they'll have to expand it that way. Yeah. It'll have to be that they won't they won't get rid of the path, obviously, no. but they'll do it that you just kind of divert off. Yeah, and you go behind. You know what's super funny though, yeah. because um, so our DVC home is the beach club, yeah. and if we have the like the doors open and stuff, we can hear that UK band yeah, really playing loud. really clearly. So maybe it's gonna be like right opposite the beach club. We're just that gonna be, be like, cool. hey, whilst people are on their Mary Poppins yeah. ride. So, oh, that'd be so cool. That's going to be really yeah. cool. Um, you think it's going to be well, all around step in time. That's what I thought. And that's what they did as their little presentation. Yeah, because you thought that before, yeah. they, before they came Because I can't imagine they actually... The, I don't think they're going to build a ride. Right. I know it's an attraction, but I don't think it'll be like a roller coaster. No, so I honestly think it's going to yeah. be kind of like the Peter Pan ride. Yeah. And we're going to be, you know, along with Mary Poppins on her umbrella. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be exciting, though. Uh, I think that was the biggest announcement yeah. of the night. And it's good. I think it needs something. Like, I think the UK, yeah. when you go to the UK, you're a bit like... Oh. Well, no, no, no. That's because we live in the UK. So Well, yeah, probably. <laughs> There's nothing exciting there for us. No. We're like, hang on, a Mars bar for $3, we can get one yeah. for 60p back home. So, yeah, that's all it is. That's fine. Okay, so next one... Uh, yeah, so uh, Cherry Tree Lane will be a brand new yeah. neighbourhood. Yeah, because so, I imagine, like, I'm trying to think of, like, what the point of... Because they'd open it, mm. and then, obviously, I think you should be able to go in. Yeah. And then, maybe that's the attraction. Maybe mm. it's just, like, a walk... You know, like, a horror house. It could be that, but it's not a horror house. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> like, a fun a fun house of walking through. <gasps> and then, instead of the boo holes, it's, like, one of the bank's children's, yeah. like, Hello! Hello! <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Yeah. Okay, and it could be that anyway. uh, also yeah. as well, so they announced uh, what the new Epcot fireworks show is going to be called. It's going to be called Harmonious. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, and yeah. then they played the music. Yes, which oh, it was. It was quite it nice. Was nice, but I think without um, the fireworks and without the sort of projection things, things like that, it was just like yeah. Because I, I, I obviously it felt nice. Yeah. I listened to it and I thought. This is gonna be my new anthem, yeah, for Epcot. Yeah. But I didn't. I wasn't feeling it because no. they didn't have anything in the background. Well, they d they did have something. Did in they? Them. Yes, they what had. They, they had like a montage. Oh of, yeah. Right, and this old, is the yeah. this is the funny thing is they had a montage of like people experience things at Epcot and like bits of like film in there as well, yeah, like yeah. from Disney films. And it did feel like it was like Epcot had dying. Died. Yeah, it did. And it was like Epcot. In memoriam. Yeah. That's what it felt like. But <laughs> it did. It yeah. was like R.I.P. Yeah, because it was a very, it was a bit of a slow building song, and it was, yeah. it was good. Don't get me wrong. Really liked the song, yeah. but without the context, it was hard to it decipher was. what it yeah. would be like. But, but yeah. that's fine. That, that I, that'll be really good. I'll yeah. be excited. I absolutely love Illuminations. I'm gonna be very sad to see it go, but just like Spaceship Earth, I've got it on. I've got. I, POVs of it on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, and you, so. tr you trust that I do they'll trust do a good Disney. job. Yes, so. exactly. Because I absolutely loved Wishes. And then they were like, <gasps> Wishes! And then they were like, we're getting rid of Wishes. And now it's going to be Happily Ever After. And I was like, ah, oh, ah, oh, <laughs> and I And now I cry every time I hear that. So that's fine. Okay, uh, what did you think of Disney Genie? Yeah, so Disney Genie... It's basically an app that kind of plans your day for you if yeah. you don't know where to start, which I think is a great idea. It is a great idea for, like, first-timers. But I... I don't know. I think it takes a lot of the fun out of it. Right? Okay. Do you know so, what? Yeah. when I... When we go to Disney Parks, yeah. I have a spreadsheet. Yeah. I have AM, PM, parks, yeah. meals, fast passes, extra magic hours, and I yeah. love putting it all together 
and doing because that is part of the yeah. fun of going to Disney is literally planning step by step what you're going to do yeah. every day. Yeah. And if you haven't been to Disney before, then you probably wouldn't understand what like because if we were just going to a beach holiday yeah. and someone said I've got your day planned down to the every hour yeah you'd be like oh god I'd be like what this is going to be horrible but with but Disney, for Disney you have to time is so precious it is and like logistically it is hard to work out because they're massive yep. parks but not only that you've spent like 4 grand to yeah, be there yeah so yeah you want to get you want to get every squeeze That's it. of experience so i think <laughs> i think it'd be great for first timers yes Oh, and maybe like old people. Oh, maybe, right? Yeah. But I think I think it will it will be worthwhile mm-hmm. for people like you and mm. people who are very into it and they know what they're doing as an aid. So you'll be planning your day anyway, and you'll be like, hmm, I wonder if there's another way to do this. You can use the genie yeah. to kind of like use it as like a sounding board and yeah. be like, oh, is that a good idea? Maybe. Well, what I do like as well. So um, mm. it said it about you putting the experiences that you wanted and then it giving you the best which that is the one thing because so sometimes um i'll be like okay so this day in magic kingdom i want to do the haunted mansion space mountain and um seven dwarfs Mm. but then you have to manually go through and book in your well your times and stuff and sometimes like you'll book one and you'll have like five past nine to ten past uh, uh to ten past ten yeah um, and then the next one that you can book isn't yeah. until like 11. So you've missed a good chunk, yeah. like a 50 minute chunk. And you've got to think of what am I actually going to do for that time? Yeah. Because. Whereas they... this will like, yeah. Yeah. So it, it, it should plug the holes mm-hmm. in sometimes, like when, when there is sometimes holes in your plans, yeah. which there isn't. Don't get me wrong. Oh, Cause you are an expert you? planner. I'm just <laughs> saying. Yeah. Okay. So the next one. Mm-hmm. was the Star Wars Hotel. Well, they're calling this, it the Star Wars Cruise. This is what I was thinking of earlier with the campus. Oh, this is what okay, I got confused okay. with. Because this is the thing where literally you... But the prices haven't been announced, so let's maybe not... Well, they have. I, I, well, I think they yeah. have. I don't know whether it's just rumours, but people are rumouring that per cabbing it's going to be nine grand. Right, that's what... That, in my, I don't like knowing that because it taints it a little yeah. bit but i like the idea mm-hmm. of that it's like um so the, in you park your car up and then you get launched into space yes don't you so it's kind of this i like this immersive thing where yes. you're not just going to a hotel yes you're going onto a story and you're starting a mission i think that's mm-hmm. fantastic yeah but knowing that it's this much money and it's well, gonna we're never gonna experience it that's we? what i mean that's and that's why I'm and like, we will live our life through tim tracker who will inevitably yeah. be that's what annoys me because I think, I think they could bring aspects of this to some hotels that are budget hotels. Yeah, but you wouldn't be able to get that immersive feel to it because, because not. So basically, it's going to be everyone checks in know, on the same I day know. and everyone checks out at the same day. Oh. I don't know. We'll see. I think when more gets yeah, announced, actually, effectively, it's kind of like a cruise in that respect. Yeah. Well, it? that's yeah, why they're calling it the yeah, cruise. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, talking about cruise. Yeah. Um, Disney's getting another island. I know. So that's cool as heck, yeah. and it's called Lighthouse Point. Uh, it does have a the island of Yulu. I can't remember. Yeah. No. Lu Luifa or yeah. somewhere. And it was I don't know. very pretty bah- Bahamian. Yeah. Uh, well, I tell you now, if it's got anything, if it's going to be anything like Castaway Key, then it's going to be paradise. So, yeah. because when we stepped off on Castaway Key, I just thought, wow, this is it. Well, it's it'll, like absolutely nothing. It's just, it's just picture perfect, isn't it? Yeah, like, it's just incredible. Yeah, it's nothing else you'd ever experience, really. And also, mm. the very last announcement. Is that they now have a fifth ship coming? They do. Called. <gasps> do you remember? The Disney Wish. The Disney Wish. Well done, Adam. You and who's yeah. on the front? Rapunzel. It's my girl. Yeah. So that's yeah. super and exciting. That, yeah, and that's. Well, they just said it's a new ship. I said, so yeah. I assume it will just be like the other ships, but yeah. Uh, well, they haven't said like the size or anything. But... No, but I just. Well, Adam, it just means we're going to have to take another, another Disney another cruise yeah. on the wish to the new lighthouse point. So, okay. And I've got my beautiful sherry leggies. You do? So I'll have to get some. I've got my cruise liners. So you do. 
I need to wear them oh. on the cruise. You should get, you have your ears, I should get a captain's hat. Oh, that would be oh. nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, what are you most excited about? Yeah, so we've just, we've given just a brief overview. So obviously yeah. go go for yourself and have a look at these yeah. in detail. Because yeah. there are probably things we've missed about yeah. them. But yeah, let us know what you're most excited about. What are you most excited about, Bethan? <laughs> Oh my goodness, we didn't even say about um, the what? Princess and the Frog Hotel. Oh uh, yeah! Not hotel, sorry, no, the restaurant. Um, the restaurant, yeah. There's yeah. going to be all like New Orleans and the... Um, Do you know what? I probably the Bayou. Did, I probably didn't yeah. write that down because I got too excited. Yeah. yeah, that sounded really good. Oh man, yeah. but they didn't announce too much about that. They no, were that just kind a, of like... They glossed over that quite quickly, yeah, didn't they? they yeah. like, Princess and the Frog yeah. restaurant, okay, next. Yeah. Is that your favourite thing then, do you think? or Maybe. Maybe. It's gonna be so good on the bayou and stuff. Yeah. It is weird that they're not doing it in Port Orleans. No, that was a, that's a bit strange. But but I guess more not everyone's gonna to go to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's really, oh. Yeah. The, I, yeah, yeah. What are you most excited about? My head says the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Oh. I already knew about that, so I feel like I'm a bit like. Oh. Yeah. Well, the Mary Poppins. Yeah, ride I think. Is I, be yeah, I think whatever they do with that, I think it's just really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Walt statue. 100%. Oh yeah, but I'll be annoyed if you can't sit with it. Yeah. Because I think it's just a waste. Uh, they also didn't announce anything. Um, the Coco. No, because they it's didn't. Because it's rumored yeah. that um, that Coco is going to be reskinned from the three Caballeros, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're keeping a lot of things under their hat because can you imagine if they announced everything at D twenty three? They'd think, have nothing to announce yeah, throughout the year. I think yeah. You have some hype for something, haven't you? They do, yeah. So. And they're, they're probably, they could link certain things to events. Exactly. So whenever um, Cinco Ooh, de Mayo, do you yeah. know what I mean? They could, they could link stuff, so yeah, definitely. that's probably what they're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. so do you know what? Disney, smashing it once again. I love you and we'll you'll, be back. You'll get get more of our money. Yeah. So. <laughs> but um, uh, what's going to be super cool is that when we go to Disneyland Paris, we'll have lots of vlogs. Yeah, um, we're planning to just film. We we planned out a couple of things. But yes. Obviously, whatever is there as well, we'll just film. And it's going to be our first year wedding anniversary. I know! Yay! Oh, that's uh. super exciting. So, yeah. <sighs> um, I hope you enjoyed this <gasps> podcast. Wait, what? based on that, we need to do a love update. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. What do I say? Do I just ask? Yeah, you just okay. ask me, don't you? Do you still love me? I do. <laughs> do you still love me? I do. Hey! Still in love. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Yeah. Next one, um, well, we don't know. Something leave, something might happen. Leave a comment if, if you've got anything in mind. Yeah. If you want us to talk about. Um, and also let us know what you're most excited about. Yes. Yes. Right. So we'll see you next time. And, and thanks, thanks for, for listening, listening to the Adam and Bethan podcast. podcast. Yay! Yay!